Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to explain to you how you can dynamically filter lists and libraries in SharePoint Online. So first of all, let me give you a use case. I'm actually going to use this uh, uh, customer relationship management CRM example, but it's applicable in many other use cases as well. So uh, on my site here, I have a few lists in a library. So I have this client's list and uh, essentially, um, uh, it has the client name as well as some other client related information, you know, location, status, etc. cetera. Uh, then I have the contacts list and uh, it, it also has, um, you know, kind of a company name field, right? So for all the different company companies, uh, I maintain the list of contacts, all right? Uh, just a few enters here. And then finally, uh, I also have the, let me find it right here, the, uh, contracts, uh, which is a document library of different, you know, contracts, different documents belonging to each uh, and every client as well. So here's the situation. What I want to do is this. I want to pick uh, a particular client from this list and I want to automatically show me, you know, filter the other lists and libraries and only show me contacts for this particular client from another list, as well as contracts for this particular client, uh, you know, uh, from the contracts document library. So once again, based on what I pick here, I, I don't want to see, you know, thousands of contacts, thousands of contracts. I just want to see uh, the, the choices that I pick, you know, the particular client I pick. So here's how to make it happen. Uh, let me uh, show you and build it for you. So what you need to do is uh, for this dynamic filtering to work, you need to display the all the lists and libraries on the same page, right? They have to be on the same page. So uh, at the moment it's blank. Let me edit the page. And I'm going to add maybe a two column layout over here. And uh, on the left, let's add the, uh, cl the clients list, all right? So I'm going to add a list of clients. Uh, on the right, I'm going to add a list of contacts. All right, just like that. And over here at the bottom, maybe, maybe we'll add uh, the uh, document library, uh, my contracts. All right, uh, and uh, let's republish it for a second. So here's what I want to do. Again, before I continue, I want to select uh, maybe this client from this list, and I want this contacts list to be filtered and only show me the appropriate contact here, as well as in the contracts, I only want to see specific, you know, files for this particular client. So let's make it happen. What you need to do is click the, click the edit button again, and you click the, you leave this kind of, you know, main list, I guess, uh, alone, and you click the list of library that you want to filter. Click the edit button. In the advanced settings on the sidebar, enable dynamic filtering, all right? And uh, then it's asking you the questions, you know, which column in the contacts list you want to filter. I want to filter, uh, you know, based on uh, this one, right? So it's what company name, just like that. Then it's asking me, well, uh, which list of library do you want to go against, all right? So essentially this is a list of library where I will be, you know, picking a particular setting. And obviously in our case, it's the clients, right? So yeah, we're ju just choosing the list at the moment. And then the final question it's asking, okay, well, tell me in this client's list, what is the column you're going to filter by? Well, in our case, it's client name, right? Uh, by the way, what's really uh, cool about this feature is that you don't need to have the columns um, you know, the columns uh, don't need to be all the same, uh, you know, name. For example, in this list, I call it client name. Here, I, uh, you know, I call this column a company name. In the contract library, I call the same, you know, thing customer. Doesn't really matter. They can all be different. What's really important, though, that is that the names, right, of the actual clients, obviously, are spelled correctly in all three. All right, hopefully that makes sense. All right. So once again, just uh, uh, this final setting that we need to pick here, uh, it's asking me, um, you, you know, essentially which column we are going to um, to filter in this main list. 
And in our case, it's going to be the client name. And you click apply. All right, just like that. Now let's you know continue and just set this up and then I'll show you the end result. I want to do the same on the contracts uh, library. Uh, you know, so we click the edit button on the sidebar, enable dynamic filtering. Once again, it's asking which column which column uh, we're going to filter. In our case, it's custom, right? You see it's uh, you know spelled differently, obviously. So customer. Then it's asking me which list in library we're going to filter, you know, choose the filter in. Uh, obviously, that's this main client's one. And then it's asking, essentially what's asking, it's, it is asking us here, what is the column that matches, you know, in, in this library that matches, you know, the, the, uh, you know, this column in the list, right? So essentially, we're just kind of mapping the two. So client name and, you know, customer, uh, you know, really mean the same thing, all right? Perfect. Click apply and republish. Let's see it in action. So by default, it obviously shows me all the information from all the list and libraries. Let me now, uh, you know, show you how it works. Just click the checkbox next to a particular client. Oh, look at this. It filters the contacts list. All right. And it shows me the contacts uh, against this particular, you know, client, uh, just one. And a few documents that I have for this client. Let's try another one. Oh, look at this. Completely different, completely different selection of uh, you know uh, documents and different selection of uh, contacts. Uh, so that's all there is to it. Uh, once again, uh, it's it's in my opinion an extremely powerful feature. I think there might be a few use cases for this. CRM been one of them. Uh, anytime you need to connect multiple lists and libraries, uh, this is definitely one uh, of the options uh, that is available. Uh, so uh, I think I uh, covered everything I wanted to cover in this particular video. And uh, as always, uh, happy to see you on my blog, sharepointmaven.com, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.